Hello, today we are looking at gouache, the Arteza 24 set of gouache. I have very limited experience with this medium. I've used some like really cheap ones, um, just like to use as like highlights and stuff, but I've never really used them properly, so I'm quite excited. I've heard fairly good things about Arteza gouache. Apparently it's really good for beginners and for the price, it's like pretty decent. I also got a couple other things from them, some paint brushes and a sketchbook and some paper, but I'm just gonna be using the sketchbook today. I'm gonna be using the gouache on the sketchbook paper just to do a little study. So here is what the set looks like. It looks pretty good, just going by the first glance. There's a pretty decent color range. And here you can see the sketchbook I'm using. It is 8.3 inches by 5.1 inches or 21.1 centimeters by 13 centimeters. It's got a uh, 110 pound cold press paper, 230 gm, which isn't bad. I actually got the smaller version of this sketchbook quite a while ago and I've been pretty happy with it. It is more than able to handle the mediums that I've been using on it, which is mainly been watercolor. And it's got a little kind of plastic pocket on the back, but I've never used that, I don't. So here you can see me just arranging the watercolors, not the watercolors, the gouache, sorry. And I was just looking at the two whites because um, they included two of them, uh, a titanium white and one that just says white and I don't know what the difference is, they look exactly the same to me. And when I swatched them, I couldn't really see much of a difference either. Maybe one was a tiny bit more yellowy like ivory than the other, but I, I don't know, they seemed basically exactly the same to me functionally in the same like I don't think I would bother like having two different ones like I wouldn't pick one over the other but anyway first impressions from swatching them I thought they looked pretty good the colors were vibrant there was a really good variation and like set of colors their consistency was nice it was quite creamy some of them the consistency was slightly different because some of them are more transparent than others but it does um, have on the individual tubes how transparent they are with the symbol of like the little box and it also tells you how light fast they are with the little pluses so most of them are fairly opaque some of them are semi-opaque some of them are quite transparent and i think all of them are light fast i can't okay some of them have like two pluses while others have three but I think all of them have at least two pluses. Yeah, so all of them are pretty light fast. I noticed pretty much straight away that not all of the colours match the colours on the tube, so it's quite good to do swatch tests if you um, if you look at the tube for the colours. Like, this is one colour that says peach red, but it's like a neon pink, like proper bright, like way brighter than it looks like on the tube. So, like, yeah, definitely um, if you've got these set of gouache paints like swatch them out because they look a bit different than they do on the tubes but just in case you're interested in what colors actually come with the set i'm just going to go through them quickly so there's the white lemon yellow mid yellow yellow ochre light apricot scarlet red vermilion red burnt sienna crimson red peach red lilac rose sky blue uh, cerulean blue ultramarine blue Prussian blue, Prussian blue, however you pronounce that. Viridian green, deep green, sap green, pale green, so quite a few greens. Uh, burnt umber, grey, noir, and titanium white, so that's the range of colours you get. I'm quite happy that there was an ultramarine included as well as the viridian green, because I quite like those, and the vermilion red and the burnt sienna, like those ones I was quite happy to see, because I love those colours. I feel like certain colours, like the lilac, it, I don't know, it's just a bit unnecessary, like, for me, like, I feel like I, I might use it, but, me, not essential in my opinion. And I'm not sure where I would use, like, that peach red, which is more like a neon pink, but it might come in handy, you never know. So, on to the study, aka my first ever fully wash painting. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wrestled with it a little bit. I didn't like them at first. 
I use watercolour like 80% of the time now, um, occasionally use inks and very very occasionally um, I use acrylic and it just kind of felt weird to use this medium at first, like it didn't feel like watercolour or acrylic, like it's kind of hard to describe it but like it's like this really creamy like kind of consistency, it's, I don't know, I can't really describe it but it was it felt nice because it felt so unfamiliar that I had no idea how to work with it. And I feel like when I first use things that I've never used before, I just kind of throw the paint down and see what happens, which isn't necessarily a good idea. I probably should have like researched best ways to use gouache or just gone through it more carefully. But after adding a few layers, it kind of started to look semi-decent. <laughs> I don't generally like using colours out of a tube, like straight out of the tube onto a little palette because I just find it's annoying having to open all those things and da da da. But since it is um, reactivatable, you could you could just put it in a little palette and um, use it like um, as a pan set, which I probably will do if I plan on using them very often, which I might, I do like them, even though we kind of got off on the wrong foot but yeah I might buy just like a little palette and at least put um, some of the colours that I think I would use most often and let them dry and just use them as um, pans because they do reactivate fairly easily I put like a little a couple little things into a palette separately and then um, waited a while for them to dry and just so I could see how quickly they reactivate and um, yeah, it was fairly quick. It didn't take that much effort to reactivate them. So yeah. I heard another artist when they were talking about these particular paints that they found the finish a little bit chalky, which apparently is um, common in cheaper gouache sets. Um, and since this isn't an expensive one, the expensive ones tend to be more um, matte, but like smooth matte. Apparently, I don't know. I'm just going by what other people have said on other videos, and I I do get what she means. It's a little bit chalky, but um, I'm, it doesn't really bother me personally. I don't think it's something that looks bad. I mean, I'm not experienced with wash. I don't really know what good wash is supposed to look like, but I mean, just going on what I like to see it looks okay so I, I did find when doing like lighter washes that the paint kind of had this um, granulating gritty kind of look which um, I'm not super thrilled about because I feel like I would like to use lighter washes rather than thick washes of wash and I might not always want it to look like that, I might want something smoother, but maybe, I don't know, something that I did, and I don't know if it's just the paint, but then again, the paints were fairly cheap, and I feel like they're pretty decent quality for their price. When I double checked on the website how much they were, they were $15.99, um, but I think they're usually £20, but they, they're reduced in sale, so... Um, even at 20 quid, still really cheap from what I've seen of other prices for gouache sets. And for the amount of colours you get, for the amount of paint in each tube, which is 12 millilitres, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, I, For someone that's not experienced with gouache, I would not get um, an expensive set anyway. So. For someone that just wants to try them out see if they like them i think this is a really good set in my amateur opinion so yeah considering the quality versus the price i'd probably give these like an eight out of ten maybe even a nine considering how cheap they are but yeah here's just a little close-up of the study i made um just so you can see what the paint kind of looks like close up while it's dry I wasn't really trying to make a masterpiece but I think it looks alright for just a quick study and um, yeah you can just see if a little bit of how the finish looks like how kind of chalky it is it's not like super chalky like you know one pound watercolor is chalky but it definitely has a chalkiness to it but anyway I'm gonna go now because I've been talking for a really long time 
Oke, okay, bye.